Yo, what's up guys? The Roblox Team Legends back with another video. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to make police lights using a loop. In order to make this part, we're basically going to make this police light that you could add on to a car. And I'll show you how to add it on after we build it. We're going to use three parts to make the police light. One for like the red light. The second one in the center, that's like the base to hold on to those lights. And the third one is basically like, it's a blue light. Because normally most police cars in the US, I'm sure they have red and blue lights. I don't know about Europe, but I heard like they use mostly blue. But like it's up to you, like whatever way you want to build it, go ahead because it's going to like go through the same process. So we're going to be using two scripts for this part two. One for each part and we're going to put it in service script service. And it's basically going to have repeating codes with while loops in it. So let's start building now. In order to do this, we're going to add three parts. Okay, so we got three parts right now. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to turn on collisions because we're going to move the parts and yeah so let's start now I'm going to bring these parts together so I'm going to move it like here and then I'm going to bring it down like well enough to make it look even like like this and I'm going to do the same thing for the other side and pretty much it looks even I'm trying to make like the police light look like a bit a little bit crooked so the car wouldn't look that new like i'm trying to make it look rusty that's a good theme so it's up to you how you want to like place the police light the base you can only have like you can make like only one part if you want but for this one i'm gonna use three parts to build it so let's start now okay so once you got your three parts let's start making adjustments to it what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select the base part and i'm gonna change the material of all three of them basically but i'm gonna make it different the, these two parts like the outer ones are gonna be the same but the center one, I'm going to make it like kind of different because it's the base, obviously. Obviously, it won't light up with stuff like that. So let's see. I'm, I'm going to let's see what I should use. Let's see which one looks the best with it. Let's see how granite looks. I'm actually curious. OK, we're definitely not using granite. We could use maybe metal, I think. I saw this and it turns out to be not bad. We could change the color too to like lower it. We could make it like maybe Maybe this color is nice, like it's metallic, it's pretty good. And what I want to do with these two is, I want to make it glow, but I'm not going to add light, like point lights for it, for this tutorial. So I'm going to add a glow effect, which makes it look like light, kind of. Because like it looks nice and also it makes the game less laggy. So let's, let's change the material to neon, I think it was. <clears throat> okay, now we got a neon. We can leave the color like this because we're going to be customizing the colors of these two parts in the script. The next thing I want to do is I want to name these parts. So I'm going to name this one light one. I, I would name this one base because obviously it's like it's in the center. It's not going to do anything. It's just for decoration. It doesn't play like a vital role in like the scripting process. And I'm going to name this one light two. And now we got basically the setup now. What we got to do now is we got to add two scripts to service script service. Or you know what? Let's combine one script. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to basically group this part over here. We're going to group it, control, hit control G on the keyboard. Or you could right click and hit group two. What we're going to do after is we're going to clear the script that we made in service script service. And we're going to type local light one equals to um, workspace dot. Then we're going to hit model. And then let's go inside and see what our first one is. It was light one. That's what we're going to do. Feel free to change the model name. So I'm actually going to change the model name to police light like this. And if we do that, then we're going to have to go here and change the model. Like the one between workspace and the light that you select. We're going to change the name to police light two. So they would know which model that we're, we're selecting. This is the model we're selecting. I made a new model by grouping it. And now this thing should be able to detect it. And what we gotta do next is we gotta get light two also. So let's type that too. We're gonna type local light two equals to same concept workspace dot police light. Hold on, type or type police light. And then we're gonna do light two. Make sure not to do the base or else your police lights going to look funky and I don't think anyone wants to be hired to become a cop then in your game. 
but it's your choice. If you want to make a goofy game, go ahead. I'm sure that some goofy games actually got on top of their market, so it's your choice. But this is what I'm doing. I'm kind of doing it for realis realism, and yeah. Next thing you want to do is you're going to hit enter twice, and we're going to type what well, you do. And then we're gonna hit enter and now we got a true loop function okay so now that we got the true loop set up you might be wondering what do we type inside to activate the lights and stuff what I would do is I'm gonna type a print function first to let like myself know that the script is running we could check in the output window so I'm gonna type print and then we're gonna type quotation marks script I mean loop is running Okay, now we got that set up. After this function is typed, after the print is typed, we're gonna hit enter. I did that already, and we're gonna type light one dot color equals to color three. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the RGB picker. If you don't know what that is, if we select a part over here, we're gonna hit color. This is basically the RGB picker. You could change it to whatever you want and you can modify it in script too actually if you did not know and we're gonna do that now so we're gonna get the values and we're gonna type so let's start now we got color 3 set up after we get a type from RGB so we we'll know where are we getting it from and RGB is the simplest so I suggest you to use that use from RGB if you want to use from hex it's gonna be like more complicated but for, for this tutorial only, I'm going to use RGB. And what we're going to do is we're going to... Let's see which part we're selecting. Light 1 and Light 2, okay? So I'm selecting Light 1. Why not let's make what Light 1 like red, I guess. If you want to turn Light 1 red, this is what you could do to get the RGB values. If you don't know how RGB works, basically it's three commas. It's like this. One, two. I mean two commas, my bad. Two commas and three values so this one is R that stands for red this one is G that stands for green and this one's B that stands for blue you could set, set the value of each one from 0 to, 250, 0 to 255 for each value so 0 to 255 for example I could set R to 0 to 255 that means it would be like full red if everything else would be 0 so that's how, how it works if you don't know like the exact values of what you, what you want your colors to be this is what you could use as a reference to to build it what I would use is I would go to properties I would select the color picker that I was showing earlier and if you want full red like around here and then we, we max this out fully you could look over here and it shows the values and you could copy and paste them to it so R G B that that's like the um that's the format so red is first we gotta type 255 because that's fully green is zero and blue is four but that's not necessary I'll just type zero so red is 255 now let's type down to the values and see how it works so 255 right we're gonna type 255 first that's that stands for the red value green we can leave zero same thing for blue and now you see we got full red and you could also select the color picker from there now let's do the same thing to light 2 but here's the catch so basically like I said earlier we're basically gonna make it like flash and change color from red to blue like each side like we're gonna turn one side flashing red and then like it turns off but then the other side flashes it's blue and like that's obviously how a police car works police lights work but here's the thing obviously when one side is flashing the other side is not really flashing and since we picked neon and I specifically suggested you guys to do that as well. Here's the thing why I picked neon. Let's say, as you see right now, you see the two lights, the two sides outside. It's basically, it's on neon and it's on a bright color. And you see it kind of has like a glowing effect. It's like, it's really bright. But if we set it to like a very, very low color, like a dim color, like for example, navy blue, it doesn't even look like it's neon. Like, let's be for real. Like you see, this one is kind of glowing, but this one's not. But if we set it to like a vibrant color, like red, you can see sort of it's like a neon effect like it looks brighter and that's basically what we're gonna do to blue 
So red, we said it's a vibrant color. If you see the red, it's vibrant. This light too is blue, so we could type something like zero, zero, because we're not adding any red. We're not adding any green either. But we could set blue as like 50, and it would be good. But after we complete all that, we're going to need to revert it. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit enter and then hit task, not wait. We could do like every 0.5 seconds, it changes the colors. It changes like the like um it changes the color basically yeah we're gonna do the same thing so light one it, it showed it true colors so we're not letting it show it anymore basically so another 0.5 seconds and what we're gonna do is we're gonna type the same thing color three from rgb but we're gonna dim the red like really dimmed so it's gonna be 50 comma zero comma zero and be aware if you don't want to use these colors just use the color picker it's like whatever color you want and then just paste like the values and we gotta do light two as well. Light two dot color equal to color three from RGB. And we're gonna type. We're not gonna use any red. We're not gonna use any green. But we're using full blue, which is two fifty five. Let's play and see how it works. We're gonna hit play now. And once we join in, you see the colors enable. And oh, you know what happened? We forgot to type a weight. So note that once you're done with setting up these colors, you're gonna have to do another task weight so it would actually work. So we're gonna type same value, 0.5. And now when we play it, it should work. But you see, it got the first step done. It proceeded to make it red. Now let's go and see how it looks. As you see over here, the red and blue works. And that's how you, basic and that's how you basically make a police light in Roblox. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.